This here is Capital Karts, which has the record for the UK's longest indoor go-karting track. But it seems that wasn't enough for them asking the question, how can we take this to the next level? Well, these guys for the last three weeks have literally done that by transforming the track and adding in a second level, thus making the UK's longest indoor go-karting track even longer. Now, the lovely folks here have invited me down today to test out the new track in their 270cc go-karts, and I'm really excited. I'm really interested to see how they're going to do the new upper section. So let's just jump into it. The original narrow track was over a thousand meters in length with 25 corners, but with the newly added second floor you now have 19 corners downstairs and a further 12 upstairs. Plus this means with the track being more spread out the circuit is wider, allowing for more overtaking possibilities. Capital Karts have also created a new barrier system using stockboard and tyres, which can take heavy compression in the case of a crash unlike any other go-kart track. Plus, as they are bolted down individually, it opens up the possibility to customise the track to different configurations in the future. But what is it actually like to drive on? Well, let's jump into a hot lap to find out. This updated track was so much fun to drive and definitely a big step up from what I drove last year for the first time. Instead of having 90 degree turns throughout the circuit, you now have far chicanes and challenging corners to tackle, which I'm really looking forward to race on very soon. Massive thanks to the guys at Capital Karts for inviting us down to test it out. I heavily recommend you go check it out. I'll be leaving their details in the description down below. If you want to see more racing goodness, then subscribe now to not miss out. But that's all for now and I'll see you next time.